so guys another test how fast I can make my setup time starts when the uh, backpack is on the floor closed today uh, only two degree about two degree I think and in the middle of nowhere so let's go was not really perfect I made lots of mistakes because I had new, two new spools and I must find my setup also how much I need to unwind this one on the on the back uh, the last spool and I, I knew I had to uh, leave 12 uh, turns on the spool that it's it's the test WR is good now I had to t uh, run around I, I made SWR 1.3 Great! The time was 7, 7 minutes 7 seconds It's getting faster but I mean there's a lot to improve I have made so much mistakes I again used Well not again, this time I used this uh, connector here with 40 What is this? I don't know, I forget it or is 40 not 49, 49 is the green. It's 42, I think. Yeah. Getting closer to five minutes, but the last two minutes will be difficult, I think. And today, uh, perfect conditions on a very flat uh, ground. So it should be faster. So the spool uh, improved again a little bit because. Uh, you see what I not like this in general this is quite small but of course this uh, handles here I'm, uh, I'm not sure to call this correct these handles here they are taller or longer than this they need to be I have to say I not need to, to have it so long and if I reduce this in the head uh, I save some space <coughs> so this is what I've done I reduced this a little bit. It's just uh, three millimeters, not even three millimeters, I think. So fine tuning, but this now looks uh, much better. It's just I cut it at home. I not have the tools here. <coughs> I need to drive to the workshop and turn on the lathe and make here some. Also, this these things here new. I made the first from the brass. I mean, it looks cool, but not necessary. This is a uh, palm. Papa Oscar Mike, this material. This is very good because it's also used for, uh, yeah, in the machining world, for uh, instead of ball bearings or something like this, where it's uh, sliding. It's very slippery stuff. This is very good. This looks a little bit better, but yeah, not necessary. Yeah, this looks very ugly, but in general this thing here is only to stop this thing for going out. <laughs> so and this, I, I, one time I had to make this, make this uh, the day before I was going out on the, uh, to the field next day. I had to pick week and I, f I failed a little bit and destroyed this in the middle so I just melted it and bended it to the outside it's also good enough it still works but yeah from the last time I had uh, one spool I think it was this it was not a good build uh, I had too much also too less play and then something was uh, rubbing on the on the case here and I lost lots of time with this the, the other spool was working great so in general I think this is really really cool I will keep this I think and I will use this till I find a, a problem with it and then improve again also here uh, Screws are more now inside, it's a little bit more nicer here. 
Ja, das Bullen da drunter da müssen ich nicht mehr. Reicht das sehr. Das ist wirklich really gut. So, das ist die new, the new version of the spool. Next thing is, I want, uh, this is, this spool is, was just for testing, this is not really working. Because I have a problem with this small diameter 3mm uh, RG 316. This coax uh, tangles much more often because it's so thin. Have it like this. There is always some something is tangled up. So I'm switching in general to the bigger one, five millimeter. This is a Hyperflex five. There is also the a lighter version of this. I'm not sure. Airborne, Airborne five. It's called. I think I have it somewhere too. This is would be even better. Uh, yeah, and these connectors here I destroyed uh, multiple times already. This is not uh, lasting super long. If you take care, it's yeah, it, it will work. But uh, a, a nice guy in the comments wrote me uh, there is there exists a connector. Like this for the RG316. I was even not. I thought this is too thin. Maybe this will not exist. I have not looked. But yeah, and he gave me the link for the connector where you have, uh, yeah, a much better connector than this crimp crimp thing here. What I not like, I have to say. Also for the field, I will. I will use this RG316 now only for the for for the jokes to wind. Yeah, because it's a nice small coax cable. But yeah, if you move move a lot the cable, at some point this is very risky to to pull this apart this connector. So I'm moving back to my five millimeter coax cable. What I also destroyed in the past one time, I, I remembered I had a cable break here somewhere. I think on the connector here, in the end, I bended it too much. But I still, this lasts will last longer, I think, than this. So I will switch to RG uh, to a five millimeter coax. So my ba my bag, yeah, not so bad, I have to say, because my spools are getting a little bit smaller now they will be here one and two smaller because of this here I reduced the height of this and this uh, it's getting smaller and smaller this I will not need this is only for video making the microphone but I have only here the spools what is the antenna I have the, for the end fed the, the transformer. I have my holder for the for the pole. This is still this looks so crazy because this was a, a rest piece what was lying around in the in the in the workshop and it and it uh, the diameter was was fitting to the pole. So I just used this. Yeah, this is for the, also for the pole holder. This is it. I have even my second uh, phone. This is a cheap Huawei phone without Google. I not it's I not need I need it only for the for the VNC viewer to connect to my Lab 599 to the JS8 core. And this this is all what the needs and yeah it's getting smaller and smaller. Not perfect, but this is the role. The lab 509, I also have an improvement. Still not perfect. This is great, I have no complaints at the moment. 
Here maybe I could can uh, remove a little bit plastic here under the connect. That's it's working, but yeah, it could be a little bit easier. This is good, and this left part now I reprinted, redesigned a little bit. I removed, if you remember, I had before the connector uh, here. The connector for the microphone this is the connector for the microphone, and um, because I have uh, the Raspberry Pi is now inside here, and the Raspberry Pi on top, or well, on the bottom. There is a GPS uh, module, and this needs to be over the or under the plastic. There can't be it under the if it would be under the speaker, it would not work. So make can't have a metal over this uh, GPS module. So it needs to be here, and to be able to move this uh, Raspberry Pi, this is this here, so small like this Raspberry Pi two. This is lying like this, I think, inside something like this. And on the bottom there is this module. I don't have any, another one, I think, anymore. And this is like this is here. And this GPS module is now here. And I had to move this uh, connector from here. I moved it to here. I also put it more inside a little bit. I can even add one millimeter more, I think. Then it would be even nicer. This is gone here. Before I had here the connector for the USB, USB-C connector for my sound card, but because I have the Raspberry now inside, the sound card is directly on the Raspberry, so I don't need a connector anymore. And this is controlled via Wi Fi. This has a Wi Fi hotspot. So this is also closed here. It was like this. Now it's like this. Back like this. It was in the beginning like this. And the charging connector I reduced to a smaller diameter. And I will try to move this also more to the inside. It's going out. It's on the outside a little bit. Little bit too much, one millimeter more inside or two would be perfect. But the cool thing is, when I'm in the field, I pull this out from the backpack, remove my screen protection, turn this on, push this button to the left, Raspberry is booting, GS8 call is automatically starting. After some minutes, three minutes, uh, I would say, the GPS is ready and the Raspberry Pi uh, is uh, sets the, or taking the time from the GPS module, is, is correcting the time on the Raspberry. <coughs> so everything is, is uh, uh, automatically, I don't have to do anything. I just turn this on this on and wait and do all the other stuff uh, the antenna also I, I put uh, make the setup for the antenna and this is all what I'm doing if I remove everything power off power off finished uh, this I need to put more inside too it's go it's looking out the half a millimeter I already turned this by exit data, uh, on in the backpack and then it was uh, yeah, for the whole uh, walking for the hiking it was turned on not good so this needs to be lower this switch yeah that's it but that's all what I have today see you next time